Hello everyone, welcome to the 17th tutorial to a beginner's guide on how to revit. Continuing where we left off last tutorial, we'll learn how to do a window family from scratch. So, we're gonna click here, English metric, look for metric window. We can use this one, but we'll end up deleting some elements, so better we do a fresh scratch one. So, open. Now, interior elevation, window tile, now a 3D view as well. Let's fix this first before we do anything. Okay, I think this is a good start now. If the lines seem a bit thick, feel free to click this here or use TL. Next, let's try to make our background white this time. We've been using black all the time. There, so if for some people it may hurt, it might give you some eye strain, feel free to go back to the black version. Now, doing this can be quite similar to the door family. So let's start. Create a reference plane here and we'll make an offset. Now the point of this is to make a new, new plane for the opening cut to align to. So let's make here some dimension. Sorry, again. So let's go back to annotate. Align dimension this one here. Same goes for this reference plane here as well. Now, uh, all right. Now click one of them. Let's try to make a family parameter here. Family parameter and type. Let's name this offset. All right. Now click the three other align dimension. There. Now go back to this one and let's give it a number 30 or let's make it 50 better. Right. Now for, let's lock this so we won't make a mistake later. Next, the opening cut, we're going to have to align it to this newly made reference plane that we just did. So again, we're going to be using the opening cut, all right? Not the wall. Because if you try to double click the wall, this error will show. So just press cancel. Again, the opening cut, double click this one. You can either just delete it all and make a new one. There, now constrain or lock all the four sides. Now we have a bigger opening cut, right? Next, go to create, sweep, now, Pick this one, then we're going to set our work plane to the interior, which is this one. So, name, reference plane, should be this one. Okay, let's make a rectangle sketch here. Alright, now make sure to lock it. There we go. But we, we made a mistake. We should always make sure that here the host for the profile to draw on will be on either vertical edge or vertical side. So let's go back to sketch path. Let's delete this and here. So that if it's here, you can see it here in the plan view and we can start sketching our profile here. So again, pick path here and lock it. Now with that done, finish, go to select profile, edit profile and choose this one open view but we've already got it open here so now let's start drawing our profile so let's just make a line here an 80 mm line should be good 20 mm thick let's do the same for the other side 20 mm this should be at least 130. All right. 
Next, let's lock this sketches into place. I'm going to align dimension here, constrain this one. Same goes for the other side. Now we just keep locking everything in their place. There we go. I think we've done everything. Now we need like a frame or a mullion for our glass panel to rest on. So let's go and do that here. Right, 5mm should be a good enough space in between. Now let's move it here in the middle. Wrong. There. That should be fine, I guess. Next is we'll lock it as well. Starting from the midpoint here and to here. Now we should have four locks to click. Then here as well. Right, then lock this one. There we go. Everything should be good now. If we finish this one, everything should be in their proper places. Now let's go to 3D and check what's going to look like. See that? There's our frame. Let's put this to realistic. Doesn't seem much yet, but later on it will be decent. Let's make it consistent color. Alright. Now, let's see and try if we ch change the width or height or anything else that the frame stays in place. So, let's make this 2000. Alright, working good. Alright, now let's change the thickness of our wall. Everything's moving in place except the glass frame, but that's alright. That's where we want it actually, so let's keep undoing until we go back to the original way it was. There we go. Alright, now next up, we need to make a reference plane for our glass panel so go to create reference plane we need to put it here right in the middle okay let's stretch out a bit we will name this glass panel host stretch this to the other end but it's not really gonna do anything next we're gonna make our extrusion go to interior Create this one, make a rectangular sketch, go to set, make sure that our reference work plane will be on the new plane that we made, which is this one. Okay, next, here and here. Don't forget to lock all sides. All right, now press finish. Now, look at the extrusion. It's 250. That's way too thick, which is this one. So, if you remember, this was 5mm, right? If I click this, this one. Now, let's make a 5mm extrusion. Click this one. Make this to 2.5. Because remember, this is resting or rather being hosted in the reference plane. So, it's in the middle right here. To make it equal, we're going to have to make this negative 2.5. Apply. Should be alright in 3D. There it is. So, moving on, if you were to click this, it's still not really a glass, isn't it? It's just a gray object. To do that, we need to apply a material. How? Click this one. Here in the Properties palette, Material and Finishes. Click this button right here, the ellipsis. 
should have a new pop-up window and look for the word glass or the material glass, which is this. Now, if you press OK, it will automatically be applied to the extrusion that we just made. There it is. So if I change this to realistic, there you go. Looking pretty decent. Now, for the frame, go ahead and click this one. There's a button here called the associate family parameter. Click that one and we need to assign a family parameter to it. So here, just name it, material should be enough. The type is family and here. So the group parameter should be material and finishes. Press OK on that one and OK. But hold on, if I were to press OK, this option right here should be grayed out. Look at that, it's grayed out, isn't it? So, still not yet done. To fix that, go to edit type here, sorry, family type. Look for material, which is this one. We're back to the same material browser. Look for a wood finish, whichever you'd like. I prefer mahogany. Or we could use Jera. Let's look at the appearance tab. Yeah, I think Jera is a good choice. Press apply and OK. That doesn't look like a Jera. I did something wrong again. Here. Yeah, it's a glass. What happened? I forgot to double click. It's not working there. Okay. Why? And okay. Looks bad. Better if we use oak or mahogany again. Now it's looking way better. We're almost finally done. The last thing we gotta do is add some family type to it so that when it's loaded, it already has some predefined sizes ready for use. How we do that? Click again this button right here. Here in family type, see how it's grayed out, right? We need to put some choice in it. So click this button right here. We have 1500 and 1000 ready. So Let's do that, 1500 and 1000. Again, this is just a name for us that we can use. It's more like our guideline so that it tells us what the contents of the dimension it has. So height by width and millimeter. Okay, let's add one more. Let's make this 1000 by 1000 next and change this to 1000. Last one. 2000 by no, nah, let's make it 600 by 1000. All right, so if I were to click the first one, see how everything was properly loaded. The next, this, and lastly, this, and apply. And that's it. Look at that. See, now if I were to click this, sorry, here. Make this to 1,500 and apply. See how it automatically changes. All right, so I guess that's it. You can make more family types yourself and load it to your family. So I guess that's it. We're done with the window family from scratch and look how amazing it is. Okay, so for questions and suggestions, please do comment below. And if you find this tutorial helpful, you can support me by liking and subscribing. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys.